Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kona Day One. And in today's episode, we are continuing on. We're leaving the lumberjack camps behind. Uh, we explored them a little bit, and I didn't really find anything too amazing. So, we're gonna head back this way and see if maybe we can find something that we missed before. Oh, there's a down tree. Okay, so there's the gas station. I suppose we could take a peek at the gas station again and see if maybe we missed something over there. And we could also go that way as well. All right, let's head into the general store. And let's just see what we can find out. Now, I believe the power in here is out. Um... Yeah, the lights are pretty much all dead. Because if I remember correctly, we're, we're running the garage right now. And we want to run... The power in here instead. In the store. Garage off. Right? There we go. Okay. So let's see, did we miss anything in here? We actually, we did get a business key. I wonder if that key unlocks one of these post offices, maybe? Or these post office box, possibly? Doesn't appear to. Okay. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. Okay, so we didn't actually look at the pictures the first time we were here. A nice here. picture of the Magasin Lachance store, seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time, from an era long forgotten. Amateur mm -hmm. hunters showing some pride in having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within ten years, Carl thought. Okay, so we've got a big map here. And some more maps over here. A map of the province of Quebec. Messy stuff. Let's just take a look at my map real quick. Um, it appears to be not useful still. Hmm. I really don't think there's much more that I can do here. I mean, that button for the pump probably does something. We didn't do anything with that last time. Can I, like... Refuel? Oh, I can. I can fill... A gas can. Can I fill an empty bottle? No, just a gas can. Okay. Alright, so there's nothing here. I don't think I explored that way yet. So let's let's take a peek. Let's take a peek over there. I can't go farther towards the beginning because obviously there's a down tree. But I think I can go this way. I, and I don't think I've gone this way yet. I Maybe I did. Maybe I went to the house or something over here. I don't really remember because everything is all snowy and, and white and scary. No, no, I definitely haven't. Okay, so let's go this way. This is not the kind of bridge that I would want to cross in a pickup truck in the middle of a snowstorm. Just speaking from experience, driving in snow, because as I said earlier, I'm from Wisconsin, so... Um, Snow is not exactly foreign to me. I've done a lot of driving in snow, and a bridge like that, that's like, crossing that bridge is pretty much suicide. Like, that's just a terrible plan. We got some stairs here. Let's head on up and see what we find. Dr. Bupre's Cottage. Okay. So, has he got mail? He's got a key. Hello, key. We've got 
lumber wood, which I don't really need right now. Let's check around the back. Uh, looks like that's a barrier, edge of the map type thing. Western Ameritech. At, at an outhouse, essentially. There's a little lumber shed there. A door that I can't open. So I guess we'll go in the main door. And what's this note in, in the door say? In spite of Dr. Beaupre's goodwill, the place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. What's this say? There should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. Medical emergency in town. The doctor there is sick. I'll be back soon. If he dies, I won't be returning. I'll have to replace him. Okay. Duly noted. Um. Let's go ahead and light that fire up. Only a great misfortune could have pushed a man like Dr. Beaupre to isolate himself from the world. Far up north, then buried in snow. Fire starters. We've got combined thread with stuff. I don't think any of these are going to do me any good, though. So uh, let's just leave that alone for now. A radio out of batteries. Cupboard down here. Cupboard there. Ooh, something's back there. Oh, it's just a cereal box or something. Drawers. Carl got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. Within these miserable walls, patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. And an eye patch. For the one-eyed, or for other vision problems, the eye patch was the way to go. Okay, so we've got the doctor's bed over here. Doctors used light reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling, but back then it was pretty much always the case with medicine. Hmm. What is this? No medical explanation whatsoever can explain why old Rosaire is still alive. As we in the trade say, the only way to cure him is to kill him. Interesting. Oh, uh, uh oh. I think I may have broke the game. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look. Can I get over there at all? No. Read. Oh, that was that. Okay. We got stuff there. Some pelts on the floor. A bottle of wine. Various cheap wines. Okay, so the doctor doesn't have expensive taste. That's fine. Anything in any of the cupboards? Not that I can see. Nothing there. Open. Can I not open these? I don't think I can. Hmm. Can I open this door from here? No. Nope. If one was to say electricity was the village's first revolution, then Dr. Beaupre's arrival was the second. Hmm. There's got to be more here than just a handful of things. Nothing in there. I mean, we did find some stuff, to be sure. But the way that this game has been so far... Oh, there we go, light. And a lot of it. Hmm. Got some matches. I think that's pretty much all there is in here that's actually remotely useful.
And there was a key to something. I wonder if that... I wonder if that was the key to something other than the house. Let's take a look. Let's, let's see here. Special. Um... Nothing there. Usable. No, I think that was definitely the keys to the house. For sure. Okay, so there wasn't much up here at Dr. Bupre's house, or however you pronounce it. But, there was still some stuff around and about. Um, I think the road also allowed us to go, like, we can spin around here. And go farther up the road. Uh, farther, farther up the road? The road. The road. I can't even talk today. Farther up the road the other way. So let's kind of do one of these. And back it up. Like so. There we go. And then I think we need to take a left? Right here? Oh, no. Just kidding. That's blocked off. So much for that. Okay. So what are we missing? Hmm. There has to be more. There has to be more going on here that I haven't seen yet. Let's see. Let's just head back this way. I mean, there's been a couple spots where there have been like coyotes or wolves or something. And they've kind of wandered off in the woods and, and left the tracks behind, so maybe, maybe what we need to do is look uh, and see and kind of follow those and see if they lead us somewhere. But beyond that, I don't know what I've, I don't know about ideas. I'm kind of, let's see, I think we already went that way. I'm like 99% sure we already went that way. I think that was where that first farmhouse was. Uh, which we did leave some stuff behind at, but... Let's go... Hmm. Let's go this way. And stop right here. Because this is where we encountered those kind of... This is where we ran into paranormal stuff, and we ran into, like, the vision people, and all that kind of weirdness. So, let's head over this way. We'll follow the tracks. The tracks lead straight to that. Which I did find earlier. Uprooted trees. I did see this. I mean, I guess we'll go for it again. I don't know the significance of these symbols, though. F hmm. It's definitely something a little weird. But let's head up the hill over here, maybe break out of it again. It was giving way to awareness. The vision was wavering. Am I getting freezing cold? Is that why I'm... In rough shape? Let's check. How's our... No, we're doing okay. We're fine for cold. I think. I think we're okay, anyway. Is there anything, like, over here? I don't want to just, like, tromp through the woods forever and hope that I eventually find something useful. But, then again, I've explored all the houses and stuff that I've been able to find so far. And haven't found anything useful. So, let's just kind of look around. Hmm. There's not much. Not much at all. Oh, here's wolf tracks. Okay, let's follow those. Where do these lead? Okay. They go this way to the road. Back to the road. Oh, but then they lead off over here. Okay. Oh, this we hadn't found yet. 
There's a wolf. Let's get our hatchet. Whoa. It just straight up disappeared into nothingness. Can I get in here at all? Doesn't appear that way. A magnet. Oh, okay. I know what we need to do now. Awesome. All right, guys. So I'm going to jump in the truck. And I'm going to head back to the house. Um... Because there was a key that we found there that was in the, um, it was like in a hole and we couldn't get to it. Now that we found the magnet, I'll bet you just about anything that if we combine the string with that magnet, it'll give us that key. So I'm going to head back there, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. So we're back at the lumberjack house right here. And if I remember correctly... There was some string right here, and we can combine that and make ourselves a fancy something or other. Um, and I bet if we come over here to this hole, there we go. We can use the wired magnet. A key. And that gets what us a key. What could it be for? The garden shed? To the Carl garden shed. Carl couldn't reach it with his arm alone. But he had more than a few tricks up his sleeve to pick it up. All right. Is there a light in here? We'll take if the flare he was gun. to venture deep into the woods, carrying a flare gun definitely wouldn't hurt, Carl assumed. At best, he could probably scare some beasts off. At worst, he was in for a nice little firework. And we've got a gas can, chainsaw, fire starters. I think that's pretty much everything that's in here. But we've got the flare gun now. And I've got some flares. And from the clue that it just gave us there, I think that I'm pretty sure we're supposed to head into the woods a little deeper than we did before. So, I guess that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, I guess that's going to be it. So guys, I think I am pretty much out of time for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.